Hi and welcome back to the course. In this section we will add the finishing touches. So there are a couple of things we will learn in this section. We will add alerts which will show us if something was successful or if something has failed. We will fix the drawer once again. And we will use Laravel Echo to listen for the artist created event and respond to it accordingly. We will do the same for the artist updated and artist deleted event. In this video we will add alert messages to our application. So in order to accomplish this we need to store the alert messages in our store. We will create a new module for this, the application module. And next we will update the actions to notify if an action has been finished. The last step in this video is to show the alerts on the layouts. Now open your editor of choice and make sure the development server is running. And also make sure that the Vagrant box is up and running. So we need to create a new module for storing the alert messages. And I think we would need a global application module. An alert module is also a possibility, but I'll stick with application module. So go into the source directory, to the store directory, modules, and I'm gonna grab artist, duplicate it, and call it application. All right. I'm gonna remove all the actions right here. I need the proxy. Uh, this can be all gone. Mutation types. Yeah. We'll get there in a minute. Alright. So we have alerts, which is an empty array. And we will fill this array when we add or remove alert message. Now go to the mutation types. Mutation module. And we want to add two mutation types. We want to add add alert and remove alert remove alert here we go now go into the actions.js file all right let's add these two actions we want to add the action add alert which will accept the commit function and the payload the payload is the alert we want to add we're gonna commit the type which we need to import import tar as types run mutation type like so. Alright. On the commit types that add alert with payload and for the remove alert is basically the same, but we want to commit the remove alert mutation type. Now go into the mutations.js file and let's import the add alert and the remove alert. Like so. We're gonna create a add alert. And we want to say state dot alert dot push alert. Next for the remove alert, add the following code. All right, for the remove alert, we want to say that alert will be the state dot alert, and we'll filter all the items where the alert isn't the same as the one that we want to remove. Okay. And let's see, we created the actions, created the mutation types and the mutations, and we updated the state and not the index. It's all working. It's all looking good. Let's go to the index.js file and let's import the application module, like so and bind it to the modules object okay now it's going to recompile going to close all the tabs and let's go to the layouts directory let's open the base view file and we want to add the components where we can view the uh, the alert messages all right so right above the slot we want to have a new component called v aligner and this component will align the, the content that's inside to a specific location. And we want to align content to the top and to the right. So the messages will be shown right here. We want to add a new view component called transition. All right. Basically the same for transition, but it will transition a 
before. So the items that are shown inside this group. Next up, we want to have the V alert, like so. And we want the V4 alert in still unclear where we're going to grab that. The variant will be alert.type. And the key will be alert. So the alert message will consist of the content and type. The type will be if it is a successful message or a dangerous message or an error message. So yeah, you can specify this with type and it will show the correct styling accordingly. Next up, we've got the V alert body with the alert dot message. V alert close and when we click it, we want to say remove alert alert and we want to have an icon close all right over what items are we going to look well because we are accessing the store we can use the map state once again so i'm going to create a computed object we're going to call the map state we're going to map over the application I'm going to say application will be state, uh, state, like so. Okay, now import it at the top. We're going to import map state from a Vuex. Okay, so here we can do application.alerts. Cool. And now for the remove alert method that we are referencing right here. We can go and add a new method, alert, with the given alert. And we can say this.store.dispatch application remove alert. I want to add the alert. Okay. Now, to test it out, let's go into the store directory, modules, application, and open the state. And we're going to add a new alert. The type will be success. And the message will be this is a temp alert, like so. Right, it's going to refresh, and here we go. So, when we click close, yeah, it's working as we would expect. Cool. Now, let's also update the minimal.view file. All right, let's add the following code. So we've got the aligner again, and we want to display the alert messages on the bottom right. And we've got another transition group, and we'll add the transition after this. We have the V alert. We're going to V4 loop over the application alerts. The variant will be the type, just like we did before. So it's basically the same. And right here with the computer property, we are going to bind the application to our layout and the remove alert method that we are firing when we click the, the close button okay now log out let's see if it is working here we go this is a temp alert but as you can see when i click the alert message we do not see a fancy transition just like we did before with transition we can add a transition name to the transition group so right here i would like to use the fade transition let's see if it's working all right here we go it's fading nicely and, and right here, I want to use a fade left animation. So let's create a new transition file called fade left. Okay. And we're going to rename slide left to fade left. Not sure if this is working, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, we need to restart our development server. Yarn D is short for yarn run dev. And at our base.view file, let's specify the transition we want to use by just typing name fade left, like so. And while we're at it, let's also create a new danger. This is a danger temp alert. Oh, on success, this is a success. Temp alert. Okay. Let's wait for the development server to boot. And here we go. 
Okay, so we got three notifications. I'm gonna click the first one. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, sweet. Now we need to remove these temporary messages and add the functionality to our tour. Well, first let's start with the auth module. When we log out, so when we log in, we want to create a new alert and we need to import the store from the top. We're gonna do import store from store, like so. And we're gonna say when this login is successful, we're gonna store the dispatch application at alert. Type will be success. And the message will be login successful. Like so. But when we uh, fail to login, we're gonna call the catch method. Also accept an anonymous function and let's copy this real quick right here and want to say log out could not log in could not log in and this one is dangerous one okay now for the logout method we're gonna do the same logout successful like so let's try it out we're gonna log out here we go, log out successful, we're gonna log in, admin at test.com, test at one, two, three, and log in successful. Sweet. That's looking good. All right, so you can do the same for the actions at the artist module and album and song module. Um, I'm not going to do this because it's basically the same as I did with the auth module. So yeah, you can try it yourself, and if you can't figure it out, um, I'll add the code so you can try and look at it in the next video.